My brother D think just got good. Did not been slow since. But we got back on their ass. I bet they know this. And on bro, I'm speaking facts. This ain't no diss. Alright, so for those of y'all that don't know, um, Dirk's brother was actually killed in Harvey at a club. If my memory strikes me correctly, it was Club O. And, um, you know, a lot of people don't really know what happened or what went down, you know, behind that or the reason for that. Well, some people say that it was over a female, right? Which may have possibly been true. But um, the dude who allegedly did it or had something to do with it, which his name was Stephen Mack, he ended up being taken out as well. I'll get to that later on. He was actually, you know, um, Smashville. He actually had ties with 051 Melly, and he was Melly Way. Actually, I'm hearing that he was Melly's cousin. Oh, yeah. We got them just. Now, what you talking about? Yeah. I just be playing. <laughs> Man, time. When you gotta get your girlfriend, you gotta be faithful, bro. I got a girlfriend. You gotta get like me. You gotta get like me. You gotta get like me. Come out of that, though, Jim. What's wrong? You so, um, this could have just as well been the type of situation where he seen D thing, you know, recognizing him. Everybody know Dirk brother, that's Dirk brother. And, you know, just did that to him or some people that he was with, or he could have set it up or whatever the situation was, um, which I'm not fully aware of. I don't know 100% what Stephen Mack had to do with it, but I do know that Stephen Mack had something to do with it. How do I know that? After Stephen Mack was taken out, he was taken out outside of a church. Um, he was taken out by two guys, right? One of the guys' name was AJ, you know? Um, he was from a gang called Gator Gang. A man was fatally shot and another wounded after walking out of a church in Roseland on the far south side around 3.45 p.m. The men left the church in the 400 block of West 111th Street when someone fired at them from a dark-colored Chrysler 300, according to police. Stephen Mack. 24 was struck in the head and chest and was pronounced dead at the scene police and the medical examiner's office said the other man 40 was shot in the leg and taken to christ medical center in oakland in good condition marley and aj from gator gang are the ones that were responsible allegedly gator gang and smashville are main ops both of these guys were allegedly affiliated with tte so if you know anything about tte or threat to everybody that's tay time you know Taytown, we definitely know, are linked to OTF and Lil Dirt, you know? So the police ended up arresting the two guys that did that to Stephen Mack, a.k.a. Youngin, and this was allegedly a paid hit, you know? When they came to get dude, they came strapped, fully ready. They already knew his location. They already knew, you know, how they was going to come with it. Two of them came. They did that to him, and this was actually picked up by the feds, you know? So it was said to be a pay hit. Now, after the fact, Dirt and other members from OTL started posting 4D thing, you know? So I don't care what nobody say. They don't just post for this person or for that person or rest in peace, this person, unless... Somebody that has something to do with it get hit or somebody from the gang that has something to do with it get hit. That's just that. That's how they move in the city. When somebody pass or get taken out and they posting RIP or they posting for that person, nine times out of ten they have something to do with it because they don't just claim bodies. A lot of them don't. Some of them do. Most of these youngsters, they will do that. But... A lot of these guys don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these guys won't even say RIP until, you know, they do something to the killer of whoever, you know, was from their squad that got took out. You know? So by Dirk them posting 4D thing, when this guy got took out, the feds grabbed the killers saying that um, this was allegedly a paid hit. So when you add those two dynamics to the fact that the killers also 
had ties to TTE, that's what you get, man. You know? Um, I got something special coming up for y'all. It's definitely a surprise. I just wanted to drop this little quick video. And it's your boy SNTV.